Today's video is a sponsored video from my good friends over at Kalor. Now, if you're a Confluence user, you're really gonna wanna pay attention to this video because I am really, really excited to show you the power of Cosmos. Now, this is a plugin that solves a really, really interesting problem in Confluence. If you've ever used Confluence and you've been like, I don't like this interface. It feels weird. It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel like a website. Well, Cosmos is going to allow you to create an amazing, and I do mean amazing, intranet that is going to completely allow you to redesign Confluence in a way that just makes sense for you and your team. Now, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and make sure you check out the links down below so that you can find the marketplace listing for Cosmos, the free, intranet for Confluence. Now let's jump into Confluence and let me give you a brief demo of what Cosmos can do for you and your team. So once you're inside of Confluence, you're going to get to Cosmos by simply going to apps and selecting Cosmos. Now once you're here, this interface is breathtaking. It is game changing. And the best part is that this plugin is completely free. Make sure you check out the link down below so that you can get the redirection straight to the marketplace listing, or just look up Cosmos in the marketplace. Now, this thing is completely configurable to however you want, and it taps into Confluence to actually get any data and all this data. But it also allows you to independent of Confluence, create some really, really cool things. So what I really, really like here is this is the out of the box configuration and it is just so helpful. I've only tweaked a couple of things here for the demo, but I'm gonna walk you through all the different things that you can do and some of the gotchas and some tips that you should be aware of in order to make your Cosmos experience that much better. All right, so again, very, very minimal tweaking here. And what I really like is right out of the gate here, we have with a good morning. So this thing's aware of who you are, who's logged in, time zones, things like that. And what I really like is that front and center, the most important things that I care as an individual, as a team member, as a contributing member of any team is what responsibilities do I have open? And Jira and Confluence both allow me to track tasks and Cosmos is gonna put it all together in one single spot so that I always know front and center, top of the screen, my attention goes straight to what's going on in my life. And so here it is, I can click on this one, it's gonna take me to any Confluence actions that I may have where I'm the assignee. And if I click on the other one, it's gonna take me over to Jira where it's gonna show me anything where I'm the assignee. Now this right here, if this was a paid plugin, would be worth its weight in gold, but the best part of it is that it's completely free and you can essentially see the two most critical things in life, which is, what do I owe people, right? It's like, this is how teams function. As work gets assigned and things start getting dragged out when people forget or they just aren't aware of what's assigned to them. And this is gonna put it right there front and center. But that's just the tip of the iceberg here. This plugin can do so much more. Now down here, we can set up company news so that you can bring in articles from whatever you want, however you want. You can see which team it belongs to. You can set up important memos over here on the right. So if, if you wanna make an announcement that you make sure everybody sees, you can put it right there on the top. I made a little poll. So if you wanna quiz your team or, or get some feedback from your team, you can say, hey, have you installed Cosmos yet? And then you can set your answers to yes or no. You can put a description here. And again, you can move these things around. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But this is really, really interesting that you can set up polls. My favorite thing was, you can put down timers. So if you ever wanna like build up hype for you and your team, kind of get them excited about something. Well, I made a release of Cosmos product showcase video, which is gonna go out in nine days. But of course, by the time you see this, that counter would have been zero. You can do a little team camaraderie. You can do birthdays. You can do work anniversaries down here. You can do all kinds of really cool things like who's new to the company, their title, their name, the day that they just joined. Uh, we have important things that people should be watching, so videos. We have, again, different types of polls. We have connections to other tools, so if you want shortcuts to the Trello, to Slack, to HubSpot, to Jira, to whatever you want, you can set up 
different shortcuts and links here. We got team news so that teams can kind of show off all the great things that they're working on. And it's really, really cool. We have a space station, which is really just like your command and control of all the different spaces that you have available. You can discover new ones. You can continue where you left off. You can see where you've bookmarked and watching your latest activity. So this is really interesting to bring you back into the space because keep in mind that Cosmos is kind of sitting on top of Confluence, right? So you're kind of just hovering in, in almost like a Cosmos-esque uh, environment where you're just right outside of Confluence. So it's really nice that you can just zoom right back in and get back into where you were inside of native uh, Confluence without, again, having to be too disruptive. So what are some of the configurations that you can do? Well, I'm gonna go back to the homepage. I'm gonna click on this main page and I'm gonna show you what's possible. Down here, you got a little edit pencil. You can click on that. And you're allowed to customize either the main content, which is this whole middle section, or your side content. We're gonna start off with main just to kind of show you. And so when I click on that, you can move things around. So you can move like the banners and company news. You can move those to wherever you want them. And here we go. Yeah, see, you can move these things around. You can also edit them. So you can click on the little pencil. You can change the title of it. You can change the text that shows up. And most importantly, you can change the date so that you can show the appropriate date that you're counting down to. And so that's kind of cool. You also have a design. So if you don't like that blue, you can change it to a different color. You can do gradients. You can just pick these default colors over here. So this is really cool so that you can kind of pick it to your particular design and brand language. Obviously you can save it or you can even uh, set the permissions as to who can view it. So if you wanted to hide specific information, you can do that too. So that's how you do a modification. And all these are gonna be the same, right? This welcome banner, we can always just kind of change this. You can turn off if it shows Confluence items or Jira items, Again, you can change the design and colors. So all of these are configurable, but all of these are stuff that's already on your page. So you can just move things up or down or edit them. But if you wanted to add something new, you can just click on this add new. And then these are all the different things that you can do. So you can do company news, which displays blocks from your site. You can do a countdown. You can do videos from YouTube. You can do new starters, so you can introduce new employees, team news, an info panel. Uh, you can do upcoming birthdays and work anniversaries. So these are the different options that you have available to you that you can add in this middle section. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna click on site content so we can see the different things over here. They're very, very similar, but one of my favorite things is the polls. I really, really like that we can do polls. And again, everything here is gonna behave pretty much exactly the same. You click into it, you can click the edit pencil, change things around, change the design, so that's gonna work the same. But what's a little bit different is what's in here, uh, specifically the poll and app links and assigned to me. These are gonna be a little bit different and important space is going to be a little bit different, right? Where you can essentially bring in what's assigned to a specific person, right? You can add a bunch of different cool things. So I think this is really, really interesting how this works. And of course you save it and then it's ready to go. And now you've basically have created or molded into existence this really, really neat intranet that is tapping into either Confluence data or to some smaller, you know, like the polls and your announcements and and, and banners like that, that's gonna be a little bit more independent of what's inside of Confluence, but it allows you to create this beautiful interface. And that's really one of the first things that attracted me to this particular plugin when I first saw it, because one of my biggest complaints that I hear often is Confluence is just, ugh, it doesn't look user-friendly. It looks more tech, like you need to have technical skills. And this right here, this Cosmos UI, looks so much better, looks so much more friendlier. It is just, uh, again, I'm, I'm hyping this up quite a bit, but I really do genuinely like it. And I think for a lot of teams, especially more creative teams, this is gonna be a really, really amazing thing that just allows you to really take your Confluence experience to that whole next level. Now, as we wrap up this video, let me show you some of the settings that you can do. So we have a settings section over here, and I'm gonna just quickly hit publish on my changes that I was doing earlier. And this is what you get to do. So you can set your Cosmos admin so you can see who's gonna basically be an administrator here. Obviously it's just me, but you can set up your administrators there. You can do Cosmos features so you can turn features specifically on and off. And check this out, you're gonna have a download center. Um, there's gonna be a company style guide that's coming and a help center. So all of these are cool new functionalities that are coming, but you can turn any of these other ones off. 
Now we can come down to branded and colors where you can edit your logo. You can set up your different colors, your headers, your corner radiuses, and then pick your specific colors. So again, make your Cosmos experience look and feel more like that of your company. Let's talk about the navigation. Navigation inside of Confluence, as you can see up here, is cool. But the navigation that you get once you build this intranet with Cosmos is, I think, just way better. This feels more natural. This feels more like a typical website. And so if you've ever struggled with just that feeling and look of how Confluence handles pages, then Cosmos is definitely going to be a really good solution for you. So as you can see, you can build out your different websites and navigations based on, again, the information that you have within your Cosmos application. So this makes it really, really easy to be able to navigate to things. And again, it feels a little bit more intuitive. It feels more like what a traditional website looks like. And so I think this is a really, really cool thing. Now, one thing that I do want to note while I'm in this tool section here is that Cosmos does speak with other applications like Macrosuit or Content Wiz. So if you're using some of the other Kalor apps, then rest assured that these are going to be interoperable and you're going to be able to leverage all these tools together. So to get this navigation here, you're able to come into the gear and you're able to come over here under navigation menu and set it up. I had to just kind of set this thing up quickly and hit save and then it showed up. So if it's not showing up for you, just come in here and get that going. Next up, let's talk about the people directory. Now we're going to talk about employee databases and collections. And I think these are some really cool features of this Cosmos app because Confluence lacks this information and it really does augment the experience. So let's start off with the employee database. I'm going to click into it. And what you are going to see here is a bunch of data for a bunch of different employees that are available on my team. You can see things like their columns, emails, their positions, a short bio, location. But this information is going to play a critical role in some of the other things that I'm going to be showing you, specifically the user profile, which we'll talk about in a second. But what I want to show you here is inside of this database, when you come over to the right, you have the ability to add new columns. So I can add, click on this little plus sign here, and I can do something like favorite color. And when I do that, I can then pick the field type. So I'm just going to say that this is text and I'm going to hit create. And so now my users are going to be able to populate their favorite color. And let me show you how that works. So on the left hand side, all the way down here at the very bottom left corner, you can click on your user profile. Let me hit save on these changes first though. So once you add a value to the database, then when your team comes into their profile, so each individual is going to have to do this by themselves, they're going to be able to come into their user profile and start populating the information. Now, as you can see, I already have some information in here, but I can put my birthday to be some other day. Maybe I want to be born on New Year's Eve. My supervisor, I can type in their name and say that this individual is not my supervisor and I can pick my favorite color. Uh, I'm just going to go with black since I'm always wearing black. I can change any of the values here. I can say that I'm part of market research. I can put that I am part of the Cosmos and Macrosuit apps. I can say that I speak Japanese because I know a little bit of Japanese and I can put some of my hobbies here to be uh, maybe reading because I love reading. Once I do this, these values that I now did on my personal profile, the database, and of course I have to hit save here as well. But once I hit save here, then the values that I just submitted for mine also then go to the employee database. So all that information that I put that I Marine is my supervisor, my birthday, my favorite color, my expertise, all this stuff that I just populated, it's going into here. So all your team needs to do is go to their personal profile and be able to answer the questions. And if you want to ask different questions, then your administrator can go into the database like I just showed you and add additional columns. And when you add those columns, they're going to show up on the personal profile and then your team's going to be able to populate them. Up next, let's talk about collections. If you recall here in the settings under people directory, we have a section called collections. And the collections are essentially a grouping for our users. Now, these collections make it so that you can create customized, tailored content for your users. For example, if somebody wants to display a countdown for a launch party that is specific to only the developers, maybe they're counting down to the release, well, maybe different teams don't want to know about that, right? Or another great example, as you can see here on my screen, 
is maybe we have an event that is happening in the U.S. only. For example, Labor Day is an event that we celebrate in the United States that first Monday of September. So if I want to do a countdown or make an announcement for my New York team, I can do that announcement. I'm going to show you how that works in a second without showing it to my Berlin or Sydney team. So let's go back into the app and do a quick announcement where we're going to say that Labor Day is coming on Monday, September 4th, and then we're only going to show it to this specific collection. So I'm going to come back over here. I am going to edit this page here, and I'm going to, on the side content, add a new information panel, and I am going to say U.S. Holiday. And then down here, I'm going to put the New York office will be closed on September 4th, 2023. And so when I hit save here, and if I just do this, then that means that everybody's going to see this US holiday, but we don't want to do that. We want to tailor the content only for that specific collection. So now I can click on this little people icon here and I can give permission to only the New York team. So now, based on how I have my collections configured and the individuals that I put in each collection, then only those individuals, when they log in, are they going to see then this U.S. holiday. So I think this is a pretty cool feature that allows you to tailor and customize the content so that not everybody is overwhelmed with information that is not important to them. You're able to really you know, be very specific as to which information is going to be shown to which team. And so this is a really cool functionality of the collections. Now there's another really cool use for these collections. When we come over to our people network over here, we're going to see everybody that's available. Now we may have a whole lot of people in our companies and we don't want to see everybody. So the collections here on the left hand side allow you to filter. So for example, I'm going to find everybody that is in New York and in this particular case it's just going to be me. So you're able to basically quickly search through your company directories and find the important people that you want to talk to based on the collections that have been created. So again, really, really neat way of organizing all the different people that might be in your company so you can see who's who in the zoo and so you can get a hold of the right person very, very quickly. And finally, let's talk about the newsroom. The newsroom is basically a place where you can create a blog and be able to show people very, very quick and easy information. So this is going to be information that maybe you want to make an announcement, maybe you just want to make a quick post, and you want to present this to people. It's a little bit more informal, and it doesn't necessarily require like a Confluence page or anything like that. So if you just want to make like these really cool little hub where you can make super awesome announcements or just, you know, situational awareness for your team, you can come into the newsroom and create these articles so that your team can come in here and look at them and get up to speed on whatever information it is you're trying to show. So this is a really cool functionality that sits on top of the blogs that are already built into Confluence, but rather than it just looking like a typical blog, you're able to really create this really nice like newsroom type of situation where you can see all the cool happenings around your company. But that's it for this video. I just wanted to very quickly show you this really, really interesting interface. So if you've ever just kind of felt frustrated or struggled with just native Confluence and you wanted a much cooler way, I, I love the action items. I love that I can see them there. Favorite, favorite feature so far. I really, really like the countdown. I think being able to hype your team up or, or letting them know when an important deadline is coming up, that's really cool. Cosmos, if you're listening, we can start figuring out how to bring other Jira data into here. I think that would be really, really nice. The poll functionality is really cool. And then just from the team camaraderie, right? Being able to see whose birthday's coming up, interesting articles, interesting information. It's really just a, a really cool an interesting plugin. And if I didn't mention it enough times, this is a completely free plugin. So go try it out, leave them a review so that more people can try this plugin out because I do think that this is a bit of a game changer for Confluence and I'm really, really excited to have this. And I can't wait for my different teams that I work with to try this out. This is gonna be a really, really cool one, a really, really interesting one. And you can't beat free 99. So anyways, that's it for this video. Again, make sure you check out the links down below, get this plugin started, leave a review, 
let Calor know the power of the internet, the power of eight text followers here, and go get this going inside your confluence. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button, make sure you drop that like, and don't forget to check out the other links that are also in the description so you can find all the different ways that you can help support the channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need